Have you ever found yourself running out of stamina way too early in Coral Island day after day? Well, don't worry because there is a very magical fruit found on the island that can permanently increase your stamina. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone and today I'm here to share how to permanently increase your maximum stamina for your Coral Island Farmer by finding and consuming some very special fruits. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. First, let's start off with the basics of stamina and ways to replenish it. You will begin your adventures in Coral Island with a base stamina value of 450 points. Carrying out different tool-based actions around the island will gradually drain your stamina across the course of a day, and if you drop into the negatives, you run the risk of passing out. You will also pass out if you try to stay up past 2 o'clock a.m. and will only wake up with a fully replenished stamina bar if you go to bed before midnight. If you pass out, your day will end immediately and you'll wake up the next day with low stamina and a medical bill. To avoid this, of course, you want to manage your stamina throughout your days and replenish it when it's low. And there are actually several ways to do this. The most common and obvious way to replenish your stamina is by consuming different foods found throughout the game. This can range from a forageable you pick up off the ground to a fully cooked meal you purchased at a restaurant or prepared in your kitchen. You can also visit the hot springs to replenish your stamina by relaxing here, which unlocks once you've completed two temple offerings and costs nothing but time. While all of this is more than doable, it sometimes feels like a lot to manage, especially in early game. But don't worry because you will actually be able to increase that base value of 450 stamina points as you progress in your game. You will gain an additional three points to your maximum stamina every time you level up a skill, but the difference isn't really that noticeable until you've made substantial progress with your mastery. This is where the stamina fruit comes in. But what even is a stamina fruit and where can you find them. The stamina fruit is a special consumable that will not only completely refill your stamina bar, but it will also permanently increase your maximum stamina value by 45 points. Currently in the game, there are six stamina fruits available, and I'm going to tell you exactly how to collect them all to increase your maximum stamina by hundreds of points. First up, there is a stamina fruit that can be purchased with merit points at the merit exchange counter in the community center. You will need to save up 2,000 merit points for the reward which can be earned by attending festivals, winning festival minigames and main events, increasing your town rank, and completing errands posted on the town's bulletin board by Sam's General Store. Even though there are so many useful and cute rewards available at the Merit Exchange, I would highly recommend saving up for the stamina fruit first. Next, you can find another stamina fruit at the Black Market. This is a secret floating shop that docks right by the lighthouse on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays after sundown. Now, this stamina fruit is not going to be easy to get unless you're playing on New Game Plus since it costs 90,000 gold. But trust me, it is worth saving up for. Another stamina fruit will be given as a reward for completing donations at the museum, specifically 200 total donations. So if you want this one, be sure to contribute every fish, bug, ocean critter, gem, artifact, and fossil you find. But here's my usual reminder to offer items first at the Lake Temple if they're required for both an offering and a donation. The next stamina fruit is actually a prize to be won at the Harvest Festival. This festival is held in the fall season on day 15, and you will have to showcase a pretty impressive harvest display, netting you a minimum of 160 points in the final scoring to win that sweet, sweet stamina fruit. To reach this score, display your best items in each of the following categories. Vegetables, fruits, flowers, coop products, barn products, and artisan products. You will be given a higher score for items that are higher quality, with osmium being the best, but displaying high value items is also important, meaning those with the highest sell price. So the highest quality, highest value items you have in each respective category. The final two stamina fruits currently available in game will be given to you by some very special and important characters to the game's story. The princess of the Merfolk Kingdom, and none other than the goddess of flowers herself. Once you have cleared both the 10 and 20 meter ocean depths of its trash, have upgraded your diving suit, and unlocked the Merfolk Kingdom, there will come the time for you to enter the deep sea. 
Before you venture out into the unknown, Princess Miranjani will gift you a stamina fruit to help you on your journey, which honestly is all the more reason to fall in love with her. Finally, the goddess of flowers will also bless you with the gift of a stamina fruit once you have completed 10 bundles of offerings at the lake temple. It doesn't seem to have to be any specific bundles, so pick and choose the ones that you will either have the most fun or easiest time completing. Well, there you have it friends. That's how you can collect all the currently available stamina fruits in Coral Island, but there's always a chance for more to appear as the game continues to receive updates. For example, perhaps we'll be able to obtain an additional fruit once we can access the savanna biome, maybe before we venture out island hopping, or perhaps as a reward from the giants since they are the only members of the Coral 3 who have yet to gift us one. Let me know down in the comments which of the stamina fruits you already have, which ones you're currently working towards obtaining, anything and everything. You know I always love hearing from you. Please give the video a like if you found this helpful. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And until next time, take care. And a very special thanks to Paul, Meredith, Janelle, Ember, Formotus, Tansy, Becca, Anime Lover, Jack, James, Cisco, Phoebe, Dragonfay, Judith, Blossom, Sunshine, Elsa, It's Me, Andrea, Eurasia, Nazashka, Cheese, Divine Raven, Kayla, Wolf, Zeres, Lawrence, Faviola, Kicknell, Alyssa, Flores, Arnica, Grey Ghost, Valley Wolf, and Danny, my beautiful gemstone members. I love you all very much and thank you so, so much for the extra support on the channel, which really helps to make all that I do possible and means the world to me.